Good morning. I'm here at Tuscan Tower Court, which is still in my mind the <laughs> clinic here at McGee General Hospital. And we are so blessed here at McGee to have doctors that come in from all over for special services. This is Dr. Josh Blair, and he is with the Southern uh, Heart Association, but I still have to call it the Hattiesburg Heart Clinic. <laughs> It's just easier for me. And he's a cardiologist, and I had been real anxious to talk with someone in the heart field because we've just gone through heart month and the emphasis that's on the heart. And sometimes I think we just take, think they're the normal, um, what we think, mm, and you're having a heart attack. And this was some things I wanted to talk to Josh about. I wanted you to tell me a little bit more about symptoms. That's what I wanted us to cover. Sometimes they're, uh, they're very vague. Uh, it's mostly left side chest pain. And we're, we're talking about coronary disease uh, as a cause of this. Uh, mostly left side chest pain, hard to pinpoint, usually it's involving the whole chest. Uh, there can be radiation into the shoulders, mm -hmm. usually left shoulder, but can be right. Uh, the jaw, uh, even upper back and upper stomach. Um, sometimes it's not a pain. Uh, the patients hardly ever describe it as a pain. It's really? Usually described as a pressure or a tightness. Um, a heaviness, like somebody has a vice grip around their chest, um, and oftentimes it, you know, how many any discomfort. It's mostly uh, shortness of breath or extreme fatigue that all of a sudden catches you. Uh, uh, those are the typical symptoms that we hear uh, with somebody having a heart attack. Well, you know, when you have those symptoms or feel them, what are you really supposed to do? See, I, I don't want to bother anybody particularly, you know, and I also don't want. To, we're busy at our clinics, or we're busy in the ER, or whatever. If you have those signs, what do you do? Well, if you're doing activity, stop what you're doing and rest. If the pain does not go away uh, and uh, you've never had this type of pain before, mm -hmm. it's a sign. It could be a sign of a heart attack, and you need to call 911. You don't need to call. You don't need to, to drive yourself to the hospital. Uh, and they'll take you to the uh, the nearest place, which is usually McGee General Hospital, and they can often sign, oftentimes give you life-saving therapies mm -hmm. on the on in route. Uh, mm -hmm and can often save your life if you are having a heart attack. Um, I, I think, I'm just thinking about, I thought, I would be one that would just sit there you know, and wait for somebody to come get me or tell me what to do. But you know, what if you are out away from the, that you can get to the hospital? Is there anything you can do if you're, let's say, if you're canoeing? We do a lot of canoeing in our area. If you're, um, playing any type of ball. Usually if you play a ball, you're close enough. Is there anything you can do? What about the use of aspirin when you think you're having a heart attack? Right. Uh, if, you're, if, you're, if your doctor has suggested that aspirin is safe for you, uh, if you have an aspirin, like if you have risk factors for coronary disease, he, he might often put you on aspirin. If you have aspirin around, you have symptoms that are mm -hmm. suspicious for a heart attack, sure. Aspirin can save lives and, predict, and prevent a heart attack. So um, aspirin is, is good therapy to take. Uh, if, if, you, if your doctor's prescribed nitroglycerin, you can try that under your tongue. Um, uh, those are type of things that you can do at home to try to try to, to help yourself. But if you're away from, uh, you know, almost city, civilization, right, right. Uh, I mean, obviously, everybody help carry cell phones nowadays, and uh, I would, you know, obviously call 911. That can find you. Um, Lots of times in parks and recreation, there's there's oftentimes ambulances around that they're that they're that there to help uh, immediately. Uh, those type of things that you can do to help yourself before before paramedics get there. Basically, don't mess around. I think that's the bottom of what he's probably telling us. And this is true with each of you and all of us that if you have these symptoms or feel any type of strangeness, I think we oftentimes don't listen to our bodies. You know, we don't listen to our bodies and listen to yours, think about what Josh has told us and things you can do, and be aware of getting to McGee General Hospital as fast as you can. I hope you'll have a good day, and be aware of any type of things that go on with your heart.